Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at iOS 11.3.1 on both the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus. We're going to be comparing the battery, the performance, and also feature-wise. So let's see if updating to iOS 11.4 from 11.3.1 is worth it on both the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8. Now, I did a video yesterday on the iPhone 5S and the iPhone SE. If you haven't watched that, links in the description. Let's begin. Now, first, I want to talk about the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, when it comes to features, the iPhone 7 Plus is fully packed with some of the latest features for iOS 11.4. As it is to be expected, this is one of the latest devices, so it should have some of the latest features as well. So, AirPlay 2 is present here. Messages in the cloud also present. Again, some of the biggest features introduced with 11.4 they're all here when it comes to performance smooth and how the operating system is completely operating within this device this platform here it looks to be running really really good now 11.4 right here gives us a score of 3518 on a single core score if we go to 11.3.1 we get a 3481 so a slight increase in performance on the single core for ios 11.4 however 11.4 did lower the performance with 5961 on the multi-core score, 11.3.1 increased just a little bit with 59.79. So nothing that you're going to notice. The operating system is feeling really, really smooth. The only key difference here is that iOS 11.4 will give us a lot of new features and improvements in security and a lot of stability as well. Now let's talk about the iPhone 8. Now there's only one complaint of one single bug that I've been having with the latest 11.4 on the iPhone 8 and also the iPhone 10 as well. That is that the network connection will be lost for a few seconds. So if I launch the app store, I'm connected to Wi-Fi or data, it still says I'm not connected to anything. It'll take some time to actually load. It's slower on network connections. And that's going to be the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 for me. None of the older devices I've been experiencing this only on the newer platforms, the 8 and the 10. So anyway, in regards to performance on how the operating system is running, how it's launching apps and everything in terms of features, it's here. It's running good. AirPlay 2, messages in the cloud, all that stuff. Of course, it's going to be here with the iPhone 8. There's only that one little minor complaint with the network connection. I'm not sure why that would be, but uh, everything else is running pretty good. As we take a look here at the scores for iOS 11.4, we have iOS 11.4 with 4047 on a single core and 1189 on the multi-core score. If we go to 11.3.1, we have 4199 on a single core score, which is slightly higher than what we have for 11.4, but this multi-core score you see here, 9987, uh, it is a lot higher on 11.4 with 1,189. But again, the software is running pretty smooth. Everything looks to be good. The only issue that I've experienced is that network connection issue where some apps wouldn't recognize that the network is actually connected. But other than that, it looks like everything's flowing pretty good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the battery on both of these platforms. First, let's take a look at iOS 11.3.1. The iPhone 7 Plus is on the left. The iPhone 8 Plus is on the right. 11.3.1, the iPhone 7 Plus died at 4 hours and 35 minutes. The iPhone 8 Plus died at 5 hours and 40 minutes. Now taking a look at 11.4, the iPhone 7 Plus again on the left. The iPhone 8 Plus is going to be on the right. 11.4, iPhone 7 Plus, 4 hours and 40 minutes of on-screen time. Really pretty much the same as iOS. 11.3.1 and the iPhone 8 Plus 5 hours and 40 minutes identical to iOS 11.3.1 as well. So in regards to performance, batteries, and features, we do get a lot more with iOS 11.4 on both the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8. So both of these devices perform pretty much identical in regards to battery performance, which is good. 11.3.1 has really good battery life. And also features, we get all the new features in here. And in terms of performance, you already seen that. So it's looking pretty good. Both platforms highly recommend to updating to 11.4. Of course, that is, as always, if you're not looking to jailbreak in the future. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. They do take a long time to film because of the battery time lapse and all that but i enjoy making them for you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace